I played around with the preview of Microsoft Designer and I believe that it can lead to true doomsday for content creators. I also tested how its AI art generator stacks up against Midjourney. Generative AI is taking the world by storm right now and everybody's losing their mind about it. But after playing with Microsoft Designer for a while, I believe that sadly this is far from ready. However, it does show potential for something pretty disruptive in the future, something that can change the internet forever. I'm gonna get to this in a minute. Think of it a little bit like PowerPoint. It has a simple drag and drop interface where you can mix and match images, clip art, text and simple shapes to form a design. What's different about it is that you can start with a text prompt like all of those AI tools are doing right now and that can generate an editable layered design for you to work on and modify. Let's get the most important part out of the way first. This is not a professional tool for designers. This is a tool for non-designers who want to do simple posters, party invitations, or other things that require a little bit of design knowledge. But there's one more group that's gonna use this pretty heavily, and I'm talking of course about business people in corporations. What it all means that if you get even a mid-level designer, not even a senior, to do a design for you, it will be a lot better than what Microsoft Designer generates for you automatically, even with all the amazing AI power behind it. For many people, this will be fine, because you don't really need a fancy professional layout for a missing kitty poster now, do you? From a designer's perspective though, and yeah, I've been doing design for over 20 years now, these layouts that are generated in that tool aren't really that good. Very often it proposes fonts that don't match the style, like fancy scripts or cursives for business proposals, and it doesn't recognize figure and background. It means that sometimes you can get white text on a nearly white background, unreadable. It also generates text somewhat randomly, which means that it's often out of place and badly aligned. On top of that, it sometimes suggests you use Comic Sans and well, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. So you write a prompt, click a button and you get a design. And at first glance, they often aren't really that bad. But then you zoom in closer and you notice that there's a lot of little things that aren't perfect. And with photo grid layouts, you sometimes have a completely different spacing from every side of the element, which is something that really shouldn't happen. I checked the built-in Apple Pages templates that by the way, don't use any AI. They are templates that you can simply add your own text and pictures to and slightly modify the colors. But they work in a pretty similar way, just without all that AI hype. And even though they are also a little bit misaligned still, they on average look better than anything that AI in Microsoft Designer is proposing. What Microsoft has here though, has potential. They just need to feed that AI some rules and constraints on padding, spacing, margins, typography, colors, and a lot of other design related theories. And it will become instantly better because design is not art. It cannot be fully free to explore every potential option because these options are gonna look pretty ugly or pretty stupid, like in this case where it put a photo in a star shape where it completely cuts off the face of the person. When a design has that much artistic freedom, it simply becomes unreadable, messy, and in the long term also pretty ugly. So it is an imperfect template generator. And that kind of hits on that doomsday scenario, and I promise we're gonna talk about it in a minute. But first let's talk about the potential that Microsoft Designer has. I believe there is a huge missed opportunity here. So let's look at it this way. Let's say a person generates an AI design with green letters on a red background, and obviously it's a huge eyesore. What Microsoft could do is create a little tooltip next to that choice, explaining why these two colors don't work together and suggesting a better solution. That way the person instantly learns that, yeah, some colors aren't really that great together and they should be looking at different alternatives. And if you do it enough, you can teach people to appreciate 
actual good, clear, readable and beautiful design. And while we're at it, I also tested how good the generative AI artwork part of Microsoft Designer is and I compared it to Midjourney. You can see the results for yourself. Generally, Designer did a pretty good job here, but I'd lean slightly towards Midjourney still. The difference isn't that huge though, so it's still pretty impressive. Now for the doomsday scenario. I'm talking from experience here. Many companies, both big and small, but mostly on the bigger side of things, try to join the content creation game. Over the last 10 or 12 years, we've seen countless corporate written articles that even the Google bot wouldn't really finish reading without yawning. They're full of keywords, they're written like a machine, and they lack any soul or creativity or human touch or anything. And in most cases, they also lack value, but they do a pretty good job on adding the company brand message or the motto or the mantra everywhere. So basically what it does, it kind of checks the boxes that we've written another blog post for the company and we're out out there, we're on the internet doing the content creation game. And those articles are often accompanied by visuals. Those visuals also often go into Instagram carousels or into LinkedIn posts and stuff like that. And the thing about those visuals, and they've been like that for over 10 years, is that if you look up the word generic in the dictionary, all of them should be listed as an example of that word. Now imagine even more companies being able to quickly and frictionlessly deliver stuff like that with Microsoft Designer doing those corporate style visuals and ChatGPT writing another useless article on the benefits of using Microsoft products in the corporate environment or how communication is key in our happy corporate family or you know, just stuff like that. So as soon as they get their hands on these tools, we're gonna see millions of articles like that. So less corporate, ugly and unnecessary fillers of space. And yes, currently Microsoft Designer generates a pretty similar quality images to what those typical corporate posts have. Sometimes giving the people unlimited power to create things fast and easy can be pretty dangerous. Let's hope this future doesn't come to pass and Microsoft adds a little bit more constraints and maybe some ways for people to learn what a good design is. Because otherwise we're gonna sink in the sea of mediocre content everywhere. Have you tried Microsoft Designer? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel because we do really cool stuff here. And obviously, have a beautiful day.